hello, hello. Hello, are we back? Are we back? Let's see. We all here? Okay, okay, cool. Okay, okay. I think we're on a big delay. Maybe. We might be on a massive delay. But, I do see you guys. Okay, actually, we're gonna test this. Um, if you guys... <laughs> actually, you should be able to tell how far the delay is based on when chat pops up, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, I am on... <laughs> My phone's hotspot streaming <laughs> because the internet went down, so I don't know how nice this connection will actually be, but <laughs> we're very scuffed tonight, so, uh, but you know what? Anything, anything to get this fucking done. <laughs> god damn. All right, here we go. My god. All right, uh, past few things. So, director left. Did, 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 did you guys, what, what did we cut off at? Andrew Hussey would never do this to me. Uh, you don't want to talk to her. She was like, I'll let you be alone. The director fades until it's like she was never there. Um, once you can sign all your friends to the hero's journey full of pain and heartache, what will happen to you? Cut off right after- oh, right after I clicked the choice? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it was, um, then we're gonna- then I'll go back. I'll go back to that load. Choice. Yes. Betray your friends. Fine. You know what? Fuck you both. I'll do it, but also fuck you. That's fair. Thanks for being reasonable. Get out of my video game. Hmm. I don't think I will. I'm gonna stick around and watch everything you tried to do here get flushed down the toilet of bad spinoffs. The director takes a step towards him. They... they aren't exactly fighting, but they're doing something. You have the distinct impression of two people fighting over a pen, or elbowing each other out of the way in order to type at a keyboard. You are feeling a little dizzy again. Andrew Hussey would never do this to me. The director takes a long, tired breath. Sorry about that. Where were we? You turn away from her. You don't want to talk to her anymore. You just want to get this over with. I get that. I'll let you be alone. I'm sorry, kid. The director fades slowly until it's like she was never there at all. But the horror, the pit of ice that opened up in your stomach, that's still there, and it will never go away. Once you consign all your friends to a hero's journey full of pain and heartache, what will happen to you? Will you just vanish? Will whatever iteration of you that was created for this story just cease to be? When the book is closed, what will you be? Zap! The mailbox is here. It's all full. The little flappy dealy is up and everything. Actually, there's no flappy. <laughs> there's very distinctly no... No flag here. What is it? It's like, it's, it's, it's very clearly not here. <laughs> I wonder if that's a visual error, because I remember it being here with Jane. With difficulty, you pull the beta out, scattering the rest of the mail across the yard. Fuck you, bills and coupon books, get a job. Up in the house, you see a friendly face looking down at you. You take a deep breath. Put the beta back in the box. Throw the beta in the sewer. Wait, we get another choice? I'm gonna save. If we throw the beta back in the box, will it just be the same thing over, all over again? Will the, will the game crash? Oh. 
fucking knew it. God damn it. Ah, uh, god damn it. Oh, we did. We could have chose reader, could we? Or it kind of looked like we could highlight him. Oh, oh. Wait. Hold the fucking phone. Who's in charge of this story? Not Ultimate Dirk, not that director, and certainly not that guy who got shoved into a room with the wolf head. It's you. It always has been you. Why are you just doing what they told you? There has to be a third option. There's always a third option. When the scratch happened, everything should have been erased. Everything was erased, except it wasn't, because someone intervened. Jade drew all of her friends close to her and kept them safe. She saved them. The first time you tried to bring Jade with you when you teleported, Beck didn't let you. But then later he did. Jade told you that he'd been just acting like a normal dog. Jade told you that the god cat had just been acting like a good little kitty, almost like their powers were gone. You pace in a quick circle, and then you hear Dad's car pull up behind you and you zap out of there before you get caught again. Zap. You've still got the beta clutched in your hand, but you're alone on Dave's roof underneath the blazing Houston sun. Nobody is going to bother you up here. There's something that's teasing just at the edge of your understanding. If only you could reach it. You need help. You need someone who knows about weird shit. Like a lock clicking in your brain, you understand what you have to do. Zap. <gasps> oh, it's you. How's it going? You look a little tired. You ask Roddy if she's been watching recently, if she knows what's going down in your part of the neighborhood. She shakes her head. I lost track when you hopped universes. I'm about to try and get myself out of canon for good, and it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. So I've been trying to conserve my energy. Oh, right. Yeah, you know about that. She raises an eyebrow. Don't worry about that, actually. You know some lore is all. You might have seen what's going to happen to Aradia next. Actually, she doesn't have too much to worry about. She and Solix are fine. Actually, they're probably more than more fine than, any, than almost everyone else. That's good to know, I guess. So did you figure out what was going on with your friend's situation? Yeah, you tell Aradia what's been going on with your friend's situation. Wow. Yeah. And you're going to do it? You're going to erase this timeline? Because if you are, then no offense, I might head out of canon a little early. That's just the thing. You think you might have a plan? Oh? You tell her the plan. Does she think it'll work? A slow, brilliant smile paints a sunrise across her face. I have no idea, but I'd love to watch. Zap! The green sun. Oh, hold up. The green sun spreads out below you like a, ga a giant radioactive gumball that absolutely wants to tear you into a million greasy pieces. You can feel it tugging at all your organs, twisting up all the words inside you, making a mess of themes, dragging motifs, screaming to the surface. This is the single largest source of raw narrative mass in the multiverse, and it should be killing you. Do you actually need me to do anything? Uh, you sort of just wanted her to vibe with you in case you die. You don't want to die alone. That's fair. Hey, if you die, I'll pick up your bones for you. <laughs> Thanks, Aradia. <laughs> it's the most reassuring thing Aradia can tell you. She smiles. See, you're on the other side, you say. You're not sure who you're talking to. You're guessing this is going to be pretty bad. Zap. Well, it's not not bad. It's not pain exactly, because when you are inside the green sun, you don't think you have the nerve endings, or you don't have nerve endings anymore. You're just a consciousness floating in a miasma of causation. You aren't sure how this is supposed to work. Should you maybe start thinking about your friends like you are, like you're in the animes, drawing strength from the power of your social links? You think about John and Rose and your good friend Dave. Fuck, ouch, thinking too much hurts. You aren't going to be able to con to count on the anime cliches for this one, you guess. So you think about your, uh, so you don't think about your friends for once. You think about yourself, the impossibility that is you, protagonist, reader, carrier of the story. Maybe not every story, but this one. You've been erased so many times. You look across the rise and fall of this story and see how many mistakes you've made. All the time you've never, or you've broke your friend's trust or betrayed them, or hell, even killed them. You reach across all of those yous, your what-ifs and your do-overs. You let the blazing energy overtake you. You open yourself up, and everything goes green. And you better be on your best behavior, Orphaner, if this partnership is going to work out. Forget this guy, Vriska. We can do this ourselves. Could you at least give a guy a chance to respond to a couple of... Well, what's that? Pounce, come here, kitty kitty. I'm home. 
The head of this cave is far too small for someone with a height as strong as mine. Pounce? Equius, what's that? Anyways, that's why I don't eat corn dogs anymore. What the fuck? Is this a normal future thing? Earthquakes and shit? I guess that's a normal whenever, but uh, we don't get many of those in Houston. I don't think that's an earthquake. Autoresponder? No seismic activity detected in the area. <gasps> They're together! So you're telling me I wrote this in another history? Yes, as far as I'm aware. Incredible. It's very boring. I think it's brilliant. I mean... The, the fucking music. The green sun pulses around your slowly collapsing being. Followed in light. You think of how you came to be here, where you are right now, and the choices you made. What are the odds about the? Uh, what are the odds that you, that that the you that prevailed is the one? It's probably something that could be mathed out, but you're too busy eating the fucking sun with your whole body to figure it out. Instead, you sink into that feeling of connections that hold you together. The bonds you created are threaded through your arms and your belly and your heart. Oh, the music! Your body is nothing, consumed by flame, and yet, you feel yourself start to become zap. The mail goes in the box. Okay, get ready, this is the best part of the movie. All the classic memes come from this part. John, every part of this movie is hot trash. Oh, it's not that bad. I want to see the guy put the bunny back in the box. This movie is so bad that the drones are approaching your neighborhood. It's too late for the human race. Darkness sees at this timeline, and in the distance you hear what might be cracks splinters through space and time. Reality is compressing and falling apart around you in a cacophony of breaking glass. All your friends, all their dreams rendered away to nothing. That's what it is. It is a locked timeline, and I am its guardian. Its first guardian. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, good ending! Oh my god, good ending! If I press this button and Ultimate Dirt cuts through this fucking panel, I'm gonna throw a fucking shit show. I'm gonna throw a goddamn shit show. Aww, thanks for playing. What a row! That was such a good- I'm- uh, that's assumingly the true ending. Um... Wow. That was so cool! Holy shit! Oh my god. I love a locked timeline. I could, we we became we became the first guardian. That's so fucking sick. That's so sick. Now for the bad endings. <laughs> yup. Now for the very bad, 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 bad endings. Um. Okay, I don't remember what we played last time. <laughs> um. We. Did we do this one? Give the rest of the time. We did bottom. Okay. Oh, holy shit, this is excruciating. I think if I keep ignoring this bullshit, uh, I don't need to see this. Right, 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 right. It, it forces you. It doesn't matter which one you choose, I'm assuming. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, okay. Trust yourself. You need to trust yourself. Oh, I fucking love this music. Because we did trust them before, trust yourself. Dirk turns to you, apology already on his face. No, no. No, 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 no. You can tell where this is going. So, it's not you. It's me. It's levity helpful. Probably not, but I'm not- or, but I'm doing my best. It's not that this hasn't been a good time. 
I didn't expect to achieve this level of metatextual mind reading during our hangout, but I've really enjoyed it. This is a day I would not have thought was possible. He stops to hold his fist out to Dave, who, after a pause, bumps into his own. He must know too. He turns away. Everything Dirk is saying feels forced to you, but he's trying to convince himself as much as uh, he is you. Still, you know you And I have to thank you for it. I'd go so far as to consider you my friend, even. And if you frame your relative success or failure on having formed a friendship, then you can call this a good end. But he trails off, turning to walk towards Ultimate Dirk. As much fun as this was, this is me we're talking about here. There's no contest. I have to know. It was always going to be me and Dirk. The two of them stand side by side, twin smirks on their faces. Dirk's is almost believable. Goodbye. You curl up into yourself, a hunched ball on a tall tower, on a single apartment in the middle of the sea. Your brain disconnects from the sounds of their conversation, of ultimate Dirk's likely victory monologue in the sky of the direction. You cry into your shitty little stick hands because you thought you fucking had this one, and somehow it feels weightier than the loss of just one friend. You feel like something bigger and more beautiful than you thought possible was at your fingertips and now it's gone. You come back to reality at the warmth of Dave's hand on your shoulder as he crouches down next to you. His voice is thick with tears. You didn't even help him keep crying. Hey bro, I'm sorry. I need pay how much longer I can show you. Like emotional. Can you take me home? Oh. <laughs> Oh, and a little tear. Oh, and a little tears. Oh, we're both struggling. Oh, bad end. Bad end. Okay, one more ending, right? Um, I guess I could have probably just jumped to the choice. Okay, okay, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, Dirk. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ultimate Dirk. Fuck you. God damn it. Fucking hate you. Uh, trust them. Um, okay. Betray your friends. Uh, so if I choose... So now it's this, right? Put the beta back in the box. Put beta back in the box. The streets are empty. Wind skims the voids, keeping neighbors apart. As if grazing the hollow cut of or cut a hollow a hollow of cut reed or say a plundered mailbox, a familiar note is produced. It's one. It's the one desolation plays to keep its instrument in tune. You have a feeling it's going to be a long day. Aww, ah, uh, we did click um, MSPA. Is that it? Is that everything? I kind of wish that we had uh, done the true ending. As but that's just how it ends up being. I'm pretty sure we did everything. Because that was three routes. <laughs> I fucking did it! I just want to get to the music again. Aw, <laughs> oh, it doesn't let me stop on the fucking ending. Yay! Well then, alright, we did it. We fucking beat Pester Quest. We did them all. Yep, this is this is every ending. Wait. There's a couple here that aren't filled. Am I crazy? I did get all the endings. Maybe they didn't register or something? I did get them all. I know I got everything. We did all three routes on all of them. Nah, that's fine. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost, we, we, we made sure to, to go through and do all three routes before. Yeah, I don't know what these are. All right, well, yeah, we are only 20 minutes in. Uh, with the Radio one, if you choose the options uh, that send you back, she gets annoyed and sends you to the title screen. Oh, I see, I see. So just kind of a little, little things. 
Okay. Well, then, we're only 20 minutes in the stream. We can do more. Uh, how about we switch over to Hive Swap? Uh, we're gonna start Hive Swap Act 2. Um, alright, so we're gonna close out of this. And let's hop, let's, let's, let's swap some hives. So, from what I remember, last time on Hive Swap, we were, we were Joey and Jude Claire, who were, uh, were related to the Harleys. Oh my god. What pumpkin? Uh, stream? Is stream gonna pick up on the, on the title screen? It's not. Hold on. Gaming. Gaming capture. So it was the good ending. We saved the timeline by essentially absorbing the green sun and turning it into a locked timeline. And we became its first guardian. Um, which, uh, very cool. Ooh, this is a cool title se uh, screen. Oh, let me switch. I, how do I switch? Alright, I love this vibe. Recap. Uh, will this... Recap. Our story begins as all good stories do in 1994. Joey Claire, our plucky, puzzle-solving protagonist, is attacked by mysterious creatures in her absentee father's manor. While her young brother Jude manages to barricade himself safely in their treehouse, Joey must battle monster after monster in a desperate attempt to make it to her attic. Within, she finds a large portal, unlocked with a strange key once in her deceased mother's possession. An unknown force beckons her to open it, one she simply cannot resist. The portal swirls her into, an alien, into the alien world of Alternia, booting her into a cluttered basement where its sister portal lay. In order to complete the intergalactic transfer, the portal also moved the alien boy Damic to Joey's old haunt on Earth. Joey cannot step back through to her father's mansion, for a force field surrounds the sister portal on Alternia, and a timer ticks down above it. Joey quickly finds Damek's best friend, Zephros Trito, 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 who becomes an invaluable ally and, a, and confidant. She learns the planet of Alternia is entirely populated by children and teenagers who must leave the planet when they reach adulthood to fuel the grand galactic Alternian war machine. Her new friend, Zephros, is the lowest and most common blood color on the hemospectrum, a highly segregated caste system that determines everything from how long you live to your inevitable vocation. At the top of the hemospectrum is the fuchsia blood Triza, the, the sole heiress to the brutal spacefaring empire. With limitless privilege, infinite resources, and all the militant drones of the planet at her disposal, she spends her assuredly brief life harassing the youth for clout. Despite, the innate, innate coward, or despite his innate cowardice, Zephros goes above and beyond to help Joey escape Damek's hive before Triza bombs his neighborhood. He discloses, over a secure channel of course, that he is a participant in the Tetra, Tetra Arc Damek's Shadow Rebellion against the Empire. Damek has plans upon plans to de-establish the caste system, and Zephros is more than happy to sit back and be a cog in the wheels of overthrowing the oppressors. He suggests that a friend and a fan of his band will know how to get Joey back to Earth, and the two of and the two ride away on Damex Lucis, fleeing the carnage of his bombed out sub grub. And thus the curtain opens, the stage is set, the lights come down, and act two of our little play begins. Lovely. I'm very glad that they included a recap, because I didn't remember all the details. New game, here we go. Import Act One Safe. Ooh, ooh, okay. Aw, oh, fuck yes. Load. Here we go. He, 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 here we go. Oh, is that us? We are on Alternia. Aw, oh, yeah, look at us.
Zephyros. Joey, are you doing okay? Yeah, give me a second. What do you think? It fits at least. It sort of smells like nacho cheese, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, sorry if I grabbed a dirty one. It just, uh, just make sure you keep your hood up. Do you think it will be a fool, or do you think it will fool anybody if I don't have horns? Uh, well, just keep your head down if you can. Sure, of course. I guess the next question is, where are we headed? You said we're going to see one of your friends. Will he freak out when he sees me? Uh, Cridia? No, I don't think she'll really care about you being an alien. When did you last play Hive Swap? Oh, like... A month ago. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I don't know if the VODs are still up, because I don't remember if I saved them. I need to make sure- I need to start saving my fucking VODs. <laughs> uh, but it's been a while since we played it. No, I don't think she'll really care about you being an alien. Besides, uh, she got way more important things to think about right now with her huge party going on. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a better disguise. How many people are going to be at this party? Probably a lot. She's a violet blood, so, you know. N no, I don't know Zephros. I don't know anything. Right, w wow. Basically, all you need to know is she's pretty influential, and getting her on board was a really big break for us. But right now, we should probably just get out of here as fast as possible. What with the drones and all. Right, sorry about your house and everything. And your crush bones. Yeah, I'll be fine. Great! Looks like you're ready to begin your quest. If you need any help on your journey, the question mark button on your UI is always available for use. Hints will now be accessible at all puzzling points of the story when Joey is the active character. Huh, who said that? Said what? Hmm, must have been hearing things. Let's go find the train tickets. So there we are, we're walking around. I don't want to exit. Can I hold? I can't hold now. Okay, I can't hold now, but that's okay. It's a point and click. Um, we still have all of our stuff. We can do a little tap dance. Can we tap dance? You do your best dance, but nobody's impressed. I don't actually remember how this game fucking controls. <laughs> if I am honest, but that's okay. Um, okay, let's look at the booth. Can I look here? Okay, nobody's here. Take. Why would you take someone's back soon sign? Everyone will think they're closed for the night. You wouldn't imagine it would be possible for a gate to look sci-fi, but this gate is pulling off. Use. Looks like you need a ticket to get through. Okay. Bro is fucking munching. He seems a little stressed out. The closer looking, you're pretty sure you know why. She looks very dirty and very mad. gonna pass out? No. Good, because I'm not catching you. Stop scratching at your wound. What would you lose to say? You wouldn't say anything. <laughs> He's dead. Ah, it's a hypothetical scenario. Mine's dead too, Nook Breath. Oh my god, are you guys okay? Wow, I am being an idiot. Of course you aren't okay. It's fine. Sometimes you lose stuff. Sometimes a leg. Sometimes you lose the person who raised you from a grub. That's life. Wow. Do you know where we get tickets? Good luck, I guess. Do you know where we can get tickets? Yeah, from that machine over there. But you can't just go right up there and use it. What do we have to do? You'll have to wait until that weirdo in the costume gets back from his break. He's the one. He's the only one who knows the trick to make that busted up machine work. I think he's in the cafe, maybe? You can convince him to come back early. Thanks. We'll go talk to him. Um, I hope your leg is okay. I'm sure wherever it is, it's fine. <laughs> talk. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, so we can only choose one option or the other? Everything works out. Oh, yes, yeah, thanks. Okay. okay. 
I don't think you have any money, and you don't know what they eat here. There was a lot of food stuff in Damek's hive that looks like it might have been food, but you kind of hope it wasn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. That's not good. Hive swap. Act 2. Dead fright. Jesus. Well, where are we? The last thing I remember is the explosion. I thought I was dead for sure. Dear Cat must have dragged us to safety. Wow, Dear Cat, I never thought you'd do something like extract me from one of those silly situations I'm always getting into. I guess it's because Damek wasn't here to tell you any better. What about all those trolls back there? Are they okay? Should we try to help them? Um, yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Trolls are tough. Like, hey, even I'm still alive, right? Well, if you're sure. But what about your Lucis? Wasn't he right behind us? Just a drone bombing. No big deal. I'm sure he'll find his way home to wait for me. <laughs> but we should keep moving forward, right? But where do we go from here? Oh, I don't know. I've never been this far out glut before. Heh, <laughs> I've never been this far from my planet. Wow, neither of us know anything. Hey, that's not totally true. We might both know only a few things, but maybe if we put our heads together, we'll know just enough. It'll all work out. Actually, Joey, I don't think so. To get out of here, we'd need to know where we were and where we're going. The only way we could figure out either of those things is if we had a map or if we used the constellations to guide us. Which neither of us could do anyway, because you're an alien and I'm stupid. <laughs> we'll probably be lost forever. So I think what you just said was an example of how being able to put your words in whatever order you want doesn't make what you said necessarily true. But it did sound really cool. You know, why don't we take a look around before giving up? I guess that's a good idea too. See what I mean? I'm too dumb to come up with plans like that myself. Damn. My dude really needs to get his self-confidence up. <laughs> He looks stuck it out from carrying you so far. Good dear cat. Best friend. Dear cat. You don't think he'd be able to fit down this craggy mountain path? Is he going to be alright? He does need a Rufio. That's so true. I didn't expect to see fishing supplies out here. Why not? Don't people fish on Earth? Some people still do, I guess. But it's not a popular pastime, now that we have TV and supermarkets. Alternia is way more advanced than Earth, so I thought you'd have more exciting hobbies. We don't consider it a hobby, trolls fish for survival. Even us useless lowbloods like me need to be self-sufficient. Knowing how to hunt and fish prepares us for future off-world exploits. That makes sense. Also, like the old saying goes, you never know when the Empress is going to run one of her annual terror crusades against the homeworld and hold all shipping to the planet for weeks at a time while she and her fleet execute a brutal orbital bombing campaign. Am I right? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, was there anything else we could do? Just click on it. Maybe I should learn how to fish. Oh my god, Lucis! This is a magnificent pile of trash. Yeah, some of the stuff in here is extremely old. I wonder if there's anything valuable. Hey, I saw a news story a few months ago about a bunch of people who got rich selling old comic books. Because people trash their comics after reading them, there's only a few of those early issues left in their world. If you could find something like that, you wouldn't even have to worry about drones so much. Come on, let's take a look. Oh, don't worry, Joey, there's nothing valuable in there. The Tetra Arc says that all goods on Alternia are mass-produced garbage that only degrade in value over time. He explains that it's a tactic of the Empress to stop us from rebuilding an independent Alternian economy after the fittest spawn bubble crashed and uh, crashed it 300 years ago. Everything in that pile is designed to break easily and have a short lifespan. Just like me. <laughs> this poor guy. This poor guy. Oh my. Zephyrus, I think some things in this pile look very nice. Really? Yes, and I think they're useful as well. Well, aliens sure are strange. <laughs> Hello? There's no answer. Maybe it's abandoned. Oh 
Oh boy. Doesn't look abandoned. Uh, hello? Is anybody here? Guess not. What should we do? Is that Frost? Ack! What is it? I'm sorry, it's just... Just what? Even with the hoodie, I can't stop freaking out about how you don't have any horns. Joey, we can't get on the train like this. Everyone will know. Okay, okay, don't panic. Um, Why don't we take a look around? Maybe we'll find something. In someone else's hive? I don't know, this could end badly for us. Hmm. You're right, stealing is pretty rude, but it's an emergency. What if we left something in exchange? Uh, well, I guess that'd be fine. As long as we do it in a way that they can ever track us down. Right. Er, I wonder how much money I have. Wait. Obviously, I don't have any money. I'm on another planet. I don't even know if you guys here use money. Money doesn't really mean all that much on Alternia, but items of personal value are worth a lot. Like Mentos and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Let's see what I've got on me. Um, I have a Q-Bat. No, I, I might need that. A bat? What are we expecting to play sports? Only if we're unlucky. Um, this mic dammit gave me? No, that's probably crucial to future events. Uh, the spoon? I bet might work. Why are you carrying around a bent spoon? Uh, it makes me feel some small semblance of confidence, I guess. <laughs> Seth Ross, please don't attach your self-worth to the fact that you can bend a spoon. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll just leave this right here. Now let's go find you a better disguise. Awesome. We left a we left a, a bent spoon <laughs> in exchange for being able to smoop, snoop. You can't find a troll costume in this pile of junk. There's almost enough junk here to build a scuttlebug. What's a scuttlebug? It's a primitive four-wheeled ve ve vehicular device that was exported from one of the Empress's colonies a hundred years ago. A scuttlebug can only be used on a wide, flat plane, so it never caught on because it's easier to just ride your Lucis or take the train. But some trolls make them for fun because they're good they're a good place to pale with your mate's spirit. That's a bit it's a bit crude. To what with your what? Um, never mind. Let's just abruptly change the topic to anything else. Ha ha ha. Okay. Hey Joey, look at this cool stick. That is a pretty cool stick. I told you. <laughs> okay, Zephyros was the one to bring it up, so that's on him. That is on him. Can I? Is Can I use... Okay, I have to. It's kind of... The walking feels less smooth than it did in... Uh, in Act 1. I don't know if I just haven't played Act 1 in a while, but... I felt like you could hold it down before, and you could, it would just move you, but I can't hold it down. No, we can't leave without checking everywhere first. Okay. The person who lives here must be an artist. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Too bad they're not here to tell us. I've heard the point of art is, or like this, is to interpret it ourselves. What do you think it means? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess it could represent finding joy in the pure randomness of life. Oh, that sounds nice. But what if it means the exact opposite thing? The closer of a new, of a low bee like me gets to Ascension Day, the more they fantasize about randomness. This could be an expression of the artist longing to break free from the constraints of the caste system. Of course, any troll caught making art like this would be called for sedition in no time. But they couldn't keep pretending like or pretending that they were loyal or that they were loyally reassigned to a brutal life of servitude anymore, and this is their last defiant act of freedom. Oh, that would be really sad if it was true, wouldn't it? But it must be nice to expire for something you believe in instead of living a long, pointless life. And knowing that you had a choice between safety and bravery, and you chose the uncomfortable path. Which would you choose, Joey? I, I don't think I've ever had to think about it before. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I just speak without thinking. <laughs> I must really sound dumb right now for rambling like that. No, Zephros, it's not a dumb question. Even if we never have to think about difficult topics, it's probably a good thing to do. Otherwise, we don't even realize we're choosing, right? Uh, right. So, which are we doing right now? Is this safety or bravery? Uh, 
Wow, this is starting to make my head hurt. Me too. I'm not even sure I know what it means to be brave. Well, I think when you're a low blood like me, most of your choices aren't really a choice at all. They're simply the only possible uh, option in any given scenario. So to be brave and leave a legacy, you have to make a difficult choice. But what is a difficult choice? How do you recognize a real choice when you see one? I guess it would be a choice that wasn't obvious at the time. Like dying in a violent blaze of glory for the right to make ugly art. Or maybe it's just a monster with a bunch of feet. Yeah, that's probably it. I can't stand by, but I just wanted to say, stop and say hi. Have a lovely stream slash day and night. Oh, thank you, Endyrian. I hope you have a lovely night slash day as well. And thank you for stopping by. It's still wet. You don't do much painting. Not really since uh, all those watercolors in elementary school. Your mom used to put them on the fridge. You don't know where they went. Um, okay, what else? Let me click around. How much? You can't find a troll costume. Okay. Um, or Cooper Coon. These mushrooms are huge. Your planet has mushrooms? Of course. When I was little, my dad taught me how to tell poisonous plants from edible ones in case I ever got lost in the wilderness. Gasp. And now you are. Yeah, but I saw him get sick from something he ate on an adventure so many times that I'm pretty sure he just made it all up. That's probably why I decided to stop trusting anything he says. The one thing he's supposed to be good at is trekking through the savage underbrush, and he couldn't even teach me which mushrooms are okay to eat. Um, well, not these ones. Bioglow mushrooms are the most poisonous fungus on Alternia. If you eat one, it will rot, it will rot your stomach. When you touch them, they leave a residue that makes you burn up under the moonlight like the sun is still out. Oh no. But there's other mushrooms called Noble Glow that look almost exactly the same, except that the gills have subtle folds that grows in the opposite direction. The only way you can tell the difference is by laying flat on your back beneath the mushroom and checking your global coordinate to make sure you've got the right one. Can you just touch it to see if it burns? You're right. I'll do that right away. No, Zephros, I was kidding. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Um, a barnacle so far away from the ocean. Yeah, these things have a mind of their own. Uh, don't touch it, please. Is it poisonous? It's super poisonous. You'll excretiate, you'll excrete blood from the pores of your chitin until you die if you touch it. Gee, I don't want to know what it does to people without chitin. Is everything on this planet poisonous? Are you poisonous? Good question. Lit. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I meant to humans. Oh, did you want to taste it too? <laughs> Best it too? Here, Joey, look my arm. No, that's that's fine. <laughs> They're so dumb. I love them. It'll probably come alive and bite you. Oh wait, look. It's so realistic. Is it a statue or a taxidermy? Taxidermy? Uh, geez, how do I even explain this? Is it complicated? No, no, not really, I just hate it. It's when you kill an animal, take out all its insides, and stuff the corpse with fabric. Then you display it in your house in a sick display of dominance over na uh, nature. Oh, you mean like taxidermit, taxidermitation. Taxidermitation. Taxi. De. Meritation. Meritation. It's when an imperial soldier gets, uh, demerited so hard that they forfeit their right to dignity and death. After they're executed, the Empress has their chitin stuff and placed in her personal trophy room. See, it could always get worse. If you say so. <laughs> Do we check out everything in this room? No, no, we can't leave. Okay. Yeah, reminder, Alternia does suck ass. Um, okay. What else can we click on? Oh, 
Oh, there's like, uh, there's like, um, little fiends. Anyone else hear drones outside? Haha, <laughs> drones. Uh, new album. Who is this? Oh, you can switch. Oh, I can be the the other guy. Oh, I have stuff. Okay. Um, is there anywhere else I can examine? Cause we haven't. I thought we examined everything. Um, this. If we could move those lights, we could see into the back of the cave, but we can't reach them from here. I wonder if I could move them with my telekinesis. Mm. Is that frost? Mm. Ah. He's trying very hard. No. Mm. Whew. Are you okay? Wow, I have a migraine now, and the lights didn't move at all. Uh, okay, so... You can maybe make the mushrooms grow a little brighter if you wanted a migraine. Can we toss something at it? Do your best dance, but nobody is impressed. You were... You have some walls, you see the back of the allowance. looking because these kind of look like horns. If we could somehow get a hold of those. I think these might be noble glows after all. Are you sure you don't want me to you don't want to risk melting my hand off to check? Zephros, I am completely sure. Something that could be horns. Something that could be horns. Or something else applicable. friend isn't triggered by your alien appearance. You'll have to look around for a disguise to appease the sensibilities. Okay. I'm aware of that. Where the fuck am I gonna find this guy? The, the, these look like horns. Like, these look reasonable. Take. Oh, look at those. Our cultures do have a few things in common after all. Yeah, but I wish they were different things. Mm. Oh, these kind of look... Wait, wait, these kind of look like, um, like horns. Can I find one that's, like, near me? And grab it. Like that's spiky. I feel like I have to do something with this fucking... monster. Let me see. I'm guessing I can't get Damak to, like, try to pull them down. Whoa, I am... What? <laughs> what? 
Why'd you walk all the way over here, brother? Shit, am I getting stuck in the very first room? This feels oddly nostalgic. up with themselves, not the artist's thought. So that was all you, Zephros. Okay, did I get another hint? Hint punk is only available to Joey. Okay. I see horn-shaped things, and I would like to get them. I would like to grab a hold of them. There is one right there. Can I grab it? I'm assuming this is what I need to do. Rummage. I already rummaged this. Can I use any of this thing? Can I use the bird on the horns? Can I use the bird on these horns? I'm walking all the way across the map. <laughs> Alright, hold on. What's that typing? Yeah, you're typing. They're here! Wait, I think I see something. God damn it. <laughs> totally figured that out on my own. Ta-da! They look just like horns. Wow, they really do. That's stupid that they weren't inside. That's kind of stupid that they weren't inside. Okay, so... How do I put them on? So I have them now. Do I have them? Let me go back inside. Okay. Oh. Oh, Rose, we did finish Pester Quest. It was only we only had about twenty minutes or so left of um of Pester Quest, so we finished it up um earlier in the in the in the vlog. So was a pretty short. Uh, just wrapping up the last of Dirk's uh, route. Oh wow, I didn't know the cave would open up to such a cozy little farm. This place is adorable. Maybe your planet has some good things in it after all. Yeah, uh, we should be pretty close to the next station if we can get through the forest up ahead. Long distance local train stops have been regulated for six centuries to be spaced exactly eight cap, uh, kappa, capas, Passioners apart from one, each one another, which means we are coming up on it. Zephyros, I have no idea what that unit of measurement could possibly equate to. Anyway, is this some kind of bee farm? The beehives are so cute. But where are the bees? Let's just keep walking. We don't want to get involved with anyone's private hive life. Oh, okay. Oh, they are kind of like bug wings. Oh, that is cute. That is very cute. I do, the bees remind me of... Oh, I'm, I am gonna poke it. Okay. You're not allergic to beehives, but you're not gonna poke. Well, but I want to. Where are the bees? Oh. I hope we can get the next train to Cridia's Island. Okay. There's liquid in these. It sort of smells fruity. Juice? Wine? What a cute house, but the door is locked. Oh, it has the shape. The window has that shape. You haven't seen a stage since you last, uh, since your last dance recital in junior high. 
the one that ended in flames, literal flames, you know, like how talk about it. Wait, don't look in the well. Huh? Why? It's filled with mine honey runoff. Mine honey runoff? It's pretty dangerous. It'll burn your view globes out of your head holes if you look at it. Oh gosh. Thanks for warning me, Zephros. I could have really made a big mistake. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. Well, but I think we should still look inside. You don't want your eyes to fall out. You kind of need those. Uh, we don't know how it affect a human. It's so complicated and delicate that it almost looks like art. You actually could not even begin to guess what the heck this is. It smells sweet and a little bit rotten. Uh, okay. That's the right direction, so that's definitely where you need to go. The woods is pretty dark, though. Joey, wait. Huh? What's wrong now? Don't tell me. Man-eating plants, giant moths that fire laser beams out of their butts, trees that have big angry faces on them and use their branches to attack poor defenseless travelers, like that one part in Snow White. Actually, yeah. You nailed it. Wow, Joey, you're so smart. Ugh, you can't be serious. Not only do you have this crazy heir to some kind of space throne trying to kill everybody, your trees are also trying to kill everybody? Yeah. It builds character. Jeez, this planet sucks. So why do we get through this forest? Well, when Tetra Arcdamic had me pass through strange areas as a test of the flame of my inner strength, he rubbed me down with tusked vertebrae slurry so I could blend in with the local fauna. <laughs> What is that? Tusked what? Oh, well, honestly, it's better if you don't know. Anyway, basically, applying any critter waste to ourselves from the local area will work. Crushed up bee carcasses, uh, ara arach arachneo, arachino, sac fluid, that sort of thing. We have to smell like the forest. Yuck, this is such a gross detour. Yeah, sorry you have to deal with it. Well, let's take a look around for some stuff to rub on ourselves so we can pass through the forest without getting eaten by any giant trees or bugs or whatever. Sigh. Alright. Uh, can we do the mine, honey? No. We can't, we can't dip ourselves in mine, honey. Um, we could fuck around and find out what this is. Or this has, like, liquid. Can we mess around with this? probably won't be coming back anytime soon. That doesn't make it okay. It's not like we're going to steal anything. We're just going to look for something to help us get through the forest. Take what we need and get out, like we did in the cave. But how are we going to get inside without breaking anything? I don't want to ruin someone's nice home. I can just jostle the lock with my mind. It's a primitive tech lock hinge, so even my terrible psychics can do it. Wait, you're what? My psychics? Zephros, hold on. Do you have psychic powers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Why didn't you tell me? Do humans not have those? N no? Wait, does everybody on this planet have psychic powers? N no, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. But burgundies tend to be more receptive to mind stuff, so you can find a lot of gutter blood trash with weak sauce telekinetics, including me. It's still really cool. No, it's not. Troll telekinetics who are actually cool can fire mind beams and command ghost armies and stuff, but usually the Jake Blood calls or indoctrinates the good ones before they pupate. I'm just one of the bad ones they left behind. Well, Zephros, if somebody who lives on this planet were psychic powers or only in Star Wars or horror movies and stuff, I think you're the bee's actual knees. Wow. I want to see you open the lock with your cool Jedi mind powers. Okay, sure, just switch characters to me and use my telekinesis power on the door. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Love how he goes from, let's not go into this cave. Clearly someone lives here, you too. Yeah, I can open the store with my brain so nobody knows we broke in. <laughs> yeah. I've never had such unquestionable confidence thrown at me before. Okay, here goes. Uh, uh, click. Oh, it should be uh, open now. Wow, it actually worked. That's so cool, Zephros. Like, I don't think you believe me, but I truly mean that. I think you're very cool. You're right. I don't believe you at all. 
Yeah. Mm, I do feel weird breaking and entering, though. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the owner won't mind. We're going in. Oh. Oh, that is a Lucis in a cage. It's a lamp. It's kind of a cool lamp. Oh, this is kind of a cool room. Very bee theme. Wow, someone who keeps their food in their food closet. Incredible. It's comforting to know that you're not the only one who needs supplementary materials made to remind you how uh, to do stuff that you're actually supposed to be good at. Look. At least your Lucis doesn't have to sleep in a cage. It'd be such a pain to clean. Poke. No thanks. It probably hasn't been fed in a while, and you want to keep your fronds intact. Look. You wonder what that's for. Eat. Is that a vegetable? You've never had any vegetable that didn't come out of a nutrition pod. Frankly, the idea makes you nervous. You don't really care for honey. It's sweet, but also chalky. And you never know if when it'll blow your brain out of the back of your skull. Eat. You don't want to get your fingers all sticky. Look. Brain fruit. Eh, you can take it or leave it. Oh, that's a bug. A big old bug in a cage. A bug cage. Cage your bugs. Look. That must be a bedroom. Sleep station. Rest square. It's probably some sort of silly name. Respite block. Or no, that's a... Yeah, respite block. Um, you weren't just about to walk into some strange bedroom in a house you broke into. Your dad raised you better than that. Well, no, he didn't, but you still aren't doing that. You're not sure how edible this is. Some sort of alien honey science going on here, and it's frankly baffling. Okay, well, we're not going in there. So... Um, it's a guide to bee dances. Are these dances based on bees? Or dances for bees? The world may never know. Anyway, you can't reach it. Okay. Um. Gimme. No. Gimme. Yeah! You bet Jerry could learn something cool if she reads it. Oh, really? Look. You got it down. You flip through the book. Amazing! An endless font of knowledge pertaining to the ambulation of bees. You've learned a new dance. Aw, oh, bee dance? You dance your heart out, give him some real razzle-dazzle, and finish with an award-winning pose. But all this big bee does is hiss at you. Tough crowd. Wow, I didn't know I was in the company of a professional prima balla reaper. <laughs> thanks. I think your dance was really good, but why waste it on a lowbrow cultural rabble like me? It was for the bee. You know, learn a bee dance, perform it for a bee. It makes sense, right? He didn't seem to like it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, luckily I've got both view globes in full working order. I bet this wasp loses didn't respond because you're a freaky alien who looks like she has skin disease and got her horns horrifically amputated due to having soft fatty cheeks like a grub that should have been culled immediately upon birth in the brooding caverns. Thanks. Actually, if this loses gets enough visual stimulation, maybe that'd trigger some kind of response we want? Huh? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just thinking my dumb thoughts out loud. It, it means nothing. Maybe you should try putting on some fake horns to look like a troll. Maybe the wasp would like your dance more then. We could use those traffic cones I picked up. That's a great idea. Those shells look like horns too. The cornucopia things? I could also use those horns as fake horns, I guess. Wow, that's an even better idea. Oh gosh, I'm getting choice overload. What a monumental decision. Which horn should I wear? Corns cones. Let's do the corns. <gasps> corns! And voila! How do they look? Just like a real troll. Well, a real troll with flesh-eating lethal bacteria inhibiting their pores, but it's more common than you think. Awesome. Oh wait, do horn shapes mean anything? Are they like horoscopes? Uh, yeah, kind of. What does this pair say about me? I guess the sheer size and robust curve of them gives the impression that you have a really big heart. That's exactly the impression I want to give off. I'll try my bee dance again now. Hornoscope. <laughs> Aha! 
The bee chitters excitedly. If you shut your eyes and pretend the noise is coming from human hands as opposed to horrifying moist alien and scissors, you might even mistake it for applause. You think that's a good sign. Wait, hold on. What's it doing? Is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, we did just get sprayed. Zephros, I feel funny. I feel like, like, like all my worries are totally gone. I guess that wasp spray really works, huh? Seems so. This will definitely let us get through the forest without wasp eating us alive. Heh, <laughs> I guess it's really fun to smell like the forest. I'm not even worried about making it to the next train station anymore. I think on the abstract level, I'm worried about not being worried since my anxiety thus far has been the main thing that's prevented me from dying. But I don't feel it emotionally, which is a strange thing to conceptualize, but weirdly okay with it. It's nice not to have to worry every once in a while, Zephros. Maybe you ought to do, or you ought to use this stuff more often. I think there's a high chance that once it wears off, I'm going to start stress crying so hard I won't be able to walk, so maybe we should hurry. <laughs> okay, let's get on our way then. <laughs> Fucking, yeah, mind honey light. And we walk in, and we walk in, through the forest, Oh yeah, fucking vibes, vibes, vibes. Oh shit, Phew, we finally made it, I'm glad the bee gunk wore off. Are you done stress crying? Uh, what stress crying? Everything's great, normal. Zephyros, it's fine. Getting your house bombed, meeting an alien, getting bombed again, getting juiced by a giant bee, and then peeing yourself when Deer Cat suddenly caught up with us on the road is a pretty scary chain of events. It's totally okay to let it all out. Y yeah. Um, anyway, we should message Pridia and let, us, let her know we're coming. Her contact information should be on the table or tablet you have. Alright, we can just message her from here. Cool. Well, what should I say? Um, on our way? Alright. Dot, 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 dot. Well, I guess we just have to wait and see if she answers later. Anyway, we should buy ticks. Huh? Oh, the tickets. I have to say the X. It's my thing. Uh, I'm sorry. Zephros, it's okay. I support your personal style choices. Please don't worry. Where do you go to buy tickets? There should be an automated kiosk that sells them around here somewhere. Okay, let's go look. Oh, this is... What a, what a fucking lad. Lads, lads, lads. <gasps> I recognize you. Okay, we have three trolls to talk to. He reminds you of the guys on the music channel your babysitter watches if she thinks you aren't there. If you walk in, she'll flip the boring kids channel. Eat a rat? Hey, you kids need something? Nope, just passing through. It's rude to stare. Uh, look lady, I got no idea what your blood color is, but I do know it ain't no way it's blue enough for me to be interested in anything you gotta say. Wow, let's get out of here, Zephros. Okay, take a pick, huh? But actually, don't really. I charge for those. <gasps> look, all right, I'm a busy guy. But you're just standing here, still busy. Aw. I like eat a rat. <laughs> I don't think he should eat a rat. <laughs> he looks like he's covered in dirt and he smells like it too. <gasps> Pauser! I know this guy! Oh my god, I know this guy! Oh my god, I know this guy! Greetings, travelers. What a glorious night to reap the blessings of this cosmos. To drink in the dazzling light of our peerless empire. Um, what? I'm saying, hey. Oh, hey. Is this another reference I'm not getting? No, uh, I have no idea either. Let us speak plainly with one another. Is this not the best of all possible worlds? I don't know if I can agree with you on that one, buddy. Do you mean to suggest that a more perfect system exists elsewhere in the firmament? That a land untouched by the claws of our heiress? could rival that of Alternia's grace. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is this guy messing with us? I'm not sure. 
The name is Fazer. So, you may more accurately discuss me amongst yourselves. Oh, I'm Joey, and this is Zephyros. Are you waiting for the train too? I guess it's pretty obvious that's what you're doing, unless you just like to hang out at train stations. There's a cafe at this stop. I guess some people like to come here. Is it the best of all possible cafes, though? Is it? I haven't tested it, so I couldn't tell you. So, are you going to Jeevic Week? We are. In theory. Maybe I'll see you there. Aww. I love that guy. It's a small greasy girl and a big greasy bug. Is this, um... I forgot her name. Hopefully, that's a really large bug. <gasps> yes. It's Follicle. Follicle. Keep your fronds to yourself, Rusty, or they'll be snacks. Believe me, I wasn't going to touch it. Is that your Lucis? No, it's another giant white bug I found under a rock. Oh, are you joking? Yeah. I'm just getting some quality time with her before she gets crated for the trip. And my Moirail won't bug me when I'm with her. She likes to bite him. Yeah, I, I feel guilty. Damek looked so nervous when we left him in the crating arena. His Lucis, I mean, not his Moirail. His Moirail is me, and I'm always nervous. Fascinating. Beloved. I'm about to spend a day, or spend days on a train. Give me some introvert time. I literally love her. I love them all. Um, I guess we go. Look. This must lead out to the platform where the train pulls up. Leave. <gasps> There's so many people here! Look. It's Zephyr. No, 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 not at Zephyros. The man is dressed sort of like a debate team guy from school. Actually, that's me. I'm pretty sure he's a perfectly nice guy. Zebra! Hey, sweet cakes. Waiting on the train. I actually remember I don't like this guy. <laughs> I guess so. You too? You bet. Nice to meet you. The name's Zebra. Why is he talking like that? Abby K. What about you two lovely little bloods? What shall I call you? Um, I'm Joey. This is Zephyros. Those names are just wonderful. So are you on your way to Jeevic Week? Yeah. Uh, me too. I'm looking forward to seeing you all are you there already. Um, are you industry professionals too, by any chance? Uh, industry professionals? Uh, I guess not then. Well, if you're interested to know, I'm a pretty well-established music blogger myself. There are always so many incredible musical acts that come to play at Jeevic Week. Anyone who writes about the music would be insane to sit it out. That's interesting, isn't it? You might be wondering what brings me, an indigo blood, out to a place like this to board the train. It's funny you ask. I didn't. You see, one of the biggest rappers at the event. Honestly, he's one of the biggest rappers ever. Well, I got word from my sources that he'd be spotted vacationing down here of all places, alone. And I thought, why not pop down for a bit and try my luck running into him? And can you believe it? I've given up all hope, but... We're on the same train platform as Marvis Zolodo? Zolodo, right now. Right over there. Just look at him. Ugh, isn't he beautiful? Yeah, totally. Hey, we have gotta go get tickets so we don't miss the train, okay? Oh, of course. Talk to you later. I don't like him. Hello, pretty! Oh my god, pretty! Not you, Zephros. This girl's hair is all shaved on the sides. Maybe she's got gum stuck in it or something. Stuck in it or something. L word? Psst. Hey. Hey, 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 you over there. Uh, are you talking to me? What? No, not you. The cute one. You, the girl. Um, hi. You guys getting on the train for G Big Wick? Yep. Then you definitely want some of these. Just take a look here. W what is that? It's a real long ride, and I know getting any shut eye on the low blood trains can be a tall order. But take two of these bad girls, and they'll have you out in a flash. Just 300 creds. For both? What do I look like a cherry? Each. Um, <laughs> thanks for the offer, but I don't think we'll be needing anything, any of that. More for the party girl, huh? If you'd rather get down and join in on all the rust blood rumpus, I've got pills for that too. 
Check these out. Just one of these sly ladies will get you blasted. You won't even want to sleep. You'll rock out from dusk to dusk to dusk. My goodness. You're just a drug dealer. You got a problem with that? Oh, um, I just, um, I don't do drugs. Myself, personally. That's cool. But if you ever change your mind and find yourself in me, just hit me up. I've got all kinds of shit for sale. Oh, heh <laughs> what's wrong? Oh my goodness, I'm just... Oh, sorry, you just startled me. Just going and saying a cuss like that. I mean, I've never... Oof. Not that it's a big deal or anything. It's fine if you cuss, I don't care. I just don't care to do it myself. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, you think so? Oh, uh, thank you, I guess. Winky face. What's your name? My name... Yeah, the thing you called. Oh, um, it's Joey. Joey Claire. Your name's cute, too. Oh, <laughs> thank you. What's your name? My name? Yeah. The thing you're called. Winky face. Well, I have a few. A different name to whisper for every shadow in Alternia. Rixel? Scalper? But you? You can call me L-Word. Gay girl L-Word. Winky face. <laughs> Wow, okay, nice to meet you, Elward. Joey, are you okay? You're changing color. I'm just fine. Damn, we got... Oh my god, we're a little flushed. This disaster of a human being uh, looks like me. Hello. The girl looks nervous. You like her dress, though. That's what my face looks like every day. Chixie. This is awful. The acoustics are so bad in here. It's messing with my pitch. Oh, yeah, it's kind of echoey. Just kidding, my pitch is perfect. Do you need something? Oh, um, I'm Joey, and this is Zephros. Hi. Chixie. Chixie Roixmere. Roix... Roixmere. Nice to meet you, Chixie. I can be on Jitter if you want. Uh, I have some adenos up there. Oh, cool. I will. Are you going to Jiva quick? Yeah, that's where anybody... Who's anybody is going today. I'm opening. What, r really? Yes. Damn, it still doesn't feel real. I mean... I'm one of the 20 opening acts, so it's not a huge deal. It's still pretty cool. Damek would be crazy jealous if he were here. Damek? Oh, don't worry about it. Well, hope to see you there, Chixie. She's adorable. Uh, look. That's definitely the biggest alien you've seen yet, unless you count the Lucy, which you don't. You wouldn't compare tall human to, say, a giraffe. See, this guy isn't tall. That would be weird. <laughs> that would be... It'd be pretty funny, though. <laughs> Joey, wait. What? You can't just go and speak to a purple blood, let alone him. Huh? Why not? Ugh. You're an alien, so you don't know, but just trust me. Clowns are bad news. Well, you guys know I can hear you whispering over there. Hey, I don't bite. You know bring it in. I don't bite, you know bring it on in. Look, Zephros, that's totally fine. Hi, I'm Joey. You look interesting. What's your name? Interesting, huh? <laughs> you and I thought you guys was fans. I'm sorry, fans? Dang, do you not get slammed or get cold out in Rusty Bird? I have no idea who you are. Sorry. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's cool. It's a nice change of pace, actually. I'm on vacay. I love the adoring crowds and all, but sometimes you just need to get away from it all, you feel me? Are you supposed to be a celebrity or something? You could say that, but I'm more than happy to just be some guy to you, Joey. Name's Marvis. <laughs> nice to meet you, Marvis. Are you going to Critia's party? Yeah, I got some gig coming up. Cool, me and my friend Zephos here are going too. Maybe we'll see each other on the train. Oh, I'm sure of it. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna get tickets. Catch you later. I love them. So much. Is it frost for you? Okay, you look a little... I will be in a minute. I'm just kind of rattled. What? Why? You just went and, and talked to a purple blood. We're lucky to still have our heads. What are you talking about? Marvis seemed a little... or like a perfectly nice guy. He's a clown! Uh, yeah? Do you have some sort of prejudice against clowns? I don't get it. Ugh. There's no way for me to explain it to you. It's just, they have this whole, uh, culture. Culture? A culture of being a clown? Yes. And they love to do murders and hurt people. 
they especially love to do big hurts and murders to people like me. I really don't know what to say. I'm sorry you have, like, this clown-based trauma <laughs> that seems... that I seem to inadvertently set off. Clown-based trauma is such a... is such a set of words. But he's not murdering anyone right now. He seems totally fine based on the conversation we just had with him where nobody got murdered. So maybe we can relax a little about it. Ugh, never mind. Let's just move on. We all have clown-based trauma after Homestuck. True. Okay, um... Look. That's another sci-fi turnstile. You'll need a sci-fi ticket to get through. Oh, that's a crime. Okay. Um, where do we get any tickets? Wait, where are we supposed to get tickets? Here? You have no idea where this is. It's color-coded, so it probably has something to do with blood. You never so much time thinking about blood in your life. Clown-based trauma CT would be a great fucking troll tag. <laughs> That, that's that's definitely some, like, purple bloods, uh, <laughs> like, ironic troll tag. Um, did we not get tickets? Okay. There's nowhere else to go in here. We can't go this way. Maybe we have to go- is there, like, a front desk? Leave. There's a cafe. There was a place right here, right? use. Oh, well, we found it. The machine is right there. All we have to do is buy some ticks and then we can board. Cool beans. Alright, let's see what we've got. So, where did, where did I go in here? Oh, I see. Input destination. Oh, gee, the great special. Sweet. I see, I see. Two tickets. Blood card? Well, I guess we can post both as burgundy bloods. Oh, no. I don't know. Joey, wait! Uh... Oh no. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I totally forgot that these machines test your blood color to make sure you don't buy the wrong class ticket. And I guess, since you're not a troll... Okay, well, I guess you have to use the machine then. Okay, let's see. sell any more ticks until the drones come to fix the machine. In two hours, the train will be gone by then. Oh no. What are we going to do? Um, I, I guess we need to find some other way to get a ticket. ruh -roh. Hey buddy, you want to give us a ticket? Okay, we know you're a busy guy. Yeah. Just busy standing here. <laughs> Doing not a lot. Tough job, but someone's gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So do you know where we could get a ticket if the ticket machine is broken? Why would I know that? I don't know, I'm just asking a question. Even if I did, I told you, I'm busy. Right. Yeah, 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 you got it. Well, could you trade us your ticket? Or sell it to us? Joey, you don't have any money. He doesn't know that. Listen, baby. I don't know what it's gonna or what it's gonna have to tell you to make you read my lips when I tells you I ain't got any kind of interest in talking to you. I got no idea what kind of screwed up color you got thumping through those tiny veins, but hey, um, he's a bronze blood. I think that's pretty obvious. I can't see. Uh, what? I can't see nothing warmer, warmer than jade. Just looks like sludge to me. Oh, you mean you're colorblind? I guess. So what? Is, is it a mutation? I don't know. Who do you think you're talking to? There is nothing abnormal about my blood. That sounds sort of relaxing, actually, being colorblind here, not knowing someone's color right away. Huh? But then how do you know to treat them? Let's just go. Uh, talk. I forgot all the voices I gave every one of these people. Hey, father. Evening, my fair and scruffy companions of the blood. What's the good word? I'd say it's more like we've got the, um, the fail word. 
We're trying to get on the train, but the ticket machine, um, broke. Unfortunate, but there are other ways to get a ticket if you are so inclined. Where'd you get your ticket? Well, I was out late. Soil to over at my side, digging a trench to feed the hungry ground its latest pound of flesh. I took a short breather to better appreciate the glorious touch of the twin moons. And I looked down to find a flyer washed up on the tide of dirt, summoning all good air rescuing trolls to a festival. And at the end of the line, so you found a brochure of Jeevic Week in the dirt and decided to come? When fate speaks, Bowser listens. But how'd you get a train ticket? Did you find it in the dirt? What? Oh. No. I bought it on the internet. <laughs> not That's not helpful. Soldiers of the blood. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Uh, Folly Cole is not gonna like to talk to us. Hey, uh, did you use the machine to get a ticket? Yeah. Well, it's not working now. Well, obviously. It was working earlier. What the hell did you do to it? Nothing! Do you have any idea where we could get a, a ticket besides the machine? What do I look like? Some kind of ticket master? One more time. Sorry, can't help you. She doesn't look very sorry. Let's just try someone else. I feel like Mars is, well, the Marvis is gonna be nice. Uh, I don't really want to talk to you, but I'm gonna talk to everybody. That guy you were talking about earlier, Marvis? I just spoke to him a minute ago. Excuse me, what? You just spoke to Marvis Soloto? Uh, yeah. You just walked up to him and spoke to him? With your words? Yeah. Why is this such a big deal? He's just a clown. Oh no. Just a clown? He is so much more than that. Marvis is, is only the greatest slam poet of our generation. Multiple times slam or get called grand champion, producer, writer, poet, artist. And you might think that his lyrics are pro-regime, but oh no no no. If you really think about it, read between the lines and connect the words to the weight of his juggalo heritage, you'll see him for what he really is. A radical revolutionary who could change our way of life forever through the power of vigor vigorously wrapped word alone. It makes sense, although he technically occupies a position higher in the human spectrum than most. When you really examine the power structures of the play in Alternia, clowns are easily the most oppressed class of them all. I never dream of just inserting my lowly self, revoltingly privileged as I am in, in indigo blood, into his sight. I'd love to talk to him, just really get down to business, probing his think pan so I can figure out how the genius happens, get an autograph, maybe even receive some of his invaluable input on my own endeavors in slam poetry. But I would never be so presumptuous as to just go up and talk to him like that. There are protocols to observe, respect to show. I don't think I'm asking you for help introducing us. I would never ask for that. So don't. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, um, do other stuff for a bit, okay? See you later. Hi, Zebra. Hello, Joey. Did Marvis say something to you about me? Um, no. I actually just came here to ask if you happen to have any idea where I might be able to get a ticket for the train, besides from the ticket machine, since it broke. No idea how. <laughs> get a ticket. Sorry, pal. I got my ticket from from special indigo-blooded sources. As unjust as I might find it, there's unfortunately nothing I as an individual can do to help gain access to the privileges I'm afforded as a member of the higher caste. But next time I'm in a position to, I'll be sure to advocate for low blood access. It's just what's right. God, I hate this guy. Okay. One more time. Good luck finding your tickets. I'm rooting for you. Um, hi again. Ch hey, change your mind. I know when a girl is playing hard to get. Oh, I actually do need something. Not drugs. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what can I do you for? We need tickets for the train. Ticket machine's right over there. Anything else? Oh, that machine is broken. For real? You break it? Um, yes. Damn, I guess we got a real little criminal on our hands. It was an accident. I just don't know anything around how anything around here works. <laughs> guess you don't get out much. 
So, tickets. Check these out. How much? I gotta be real with you, bro. These tickets are fake. Oh. Don't make that face. I only offer quality shit. An associate of mine made these. Her stuff is top tier. I could give you both of them. If you get me one real ticket. If those tickets are so good, why don't you just use them yourself? Because if I use them, then you can't. Didn't your Lisa said to teach you not to look a gift who feast in the mouth? One real ticket for two high quality fakes. It's a good deal. It is a good deal, to be fair. Hey girl, you ready to make a deal? Yes! Well, you don't have the tickets yet, but we're working on it. Oh, you better hurry up. I don't want the train to leave without you. Was there something else? Um, so those little pills, those were really, uh, drugs? Yep. They'd really get someone high? Hell yeah, they would. Wow, I've never actually seen a drug before. Well, besides the pills and my babysitter takes, but I think the doctor gave those to her. And this one time at school, this one girl said she was smoking crack. But I think she was just snoring pixie stick with a rolled up indexed card. Crack, huh? Never heard of it? I could probably get my hands on some if you wanted to try it. Um, no thanks. Have you ever done any of those pills? Joey, maybe we should just go. Well, yeah. I wouldn't sell shit I didn't know was quality, would I? Wow! For real, though. Hit me up if you're down for a little experimentation. Why don't you add me on Shitter? That way, you always got the hookup. Oh, okay. Oh my god, we got our Chitter! Selling uppers. <laughs> that's pretty... That's pretty, uh... Pretty, um... Blunt. Zephyrus is like, um, can you please stop flirting? <laughs> Hey, I know this is a lot to ask, but could we buy your tickets from you? Maybe you could get on another train. You can't have my tickets. You, you don't even want to go to Chivik Week. Why not? It sucks. No offense, but I'm pretty sure Chivik Week doesn't suck. Right. If it's so bad, why do you want to go? Good grief. First of all, don't, I don't have to justify my personal and professional choices to you. Secondly, I'm trying to help you. I told you, things might get intense at the show. Intense how? Well, I guess it's not like anyone will listen to a Rusty, anyway. Do you know who the mask is? Do you mean like the movie? What? No. The mask, the performer. Oh yeah, she's gonna be there? Wait, who are we talking about? Oh, the mask is a sort of vigilante. She's an underground rapper who's been popping up at a bunch of high blood shows and speaking the truth to power. I'm surprised she hasn't gotten cold yet. Yeah, me too. Anyway, she's me. I'm the mask. Plot twist. Wait, what? She you never know who might be listening, but believe me, it's better if you just don't get on the train. Jivik Week is too good an opportunity. I can't pass it up. I'm going on stage to protest right there on stage. So no, you can't have my ticket. So you know what she's talking about? The mask is kind of an urban legend, but one that actually exists. Damex met her before, I think. I don't know, he's always changes the channel when she's on the news. But you don't think what she's doing is worth it? Of course I do, but not where she's planning to do it. There are going to be subjugulators there. There are going to be thrushcutioners. I don't know what any of those things are, but they sound pretty bad. We should get in the way, talk her out, or we shouldn't get in her way, let's talk her out of it. Um... Hmm... Um... Uh, it shouldn't been her way. I get that you're scared for her, but she seems pretty confident that she knows what she's doing. Yeah, I guess she has more actual, practical experience at revolutionary stuff than I do. I mostly just hung out while Damick did all the actual real work. He's the rebel. I'm just the butler. I think it's important to stand up for what you believe in. Otherwise, what's the point of doing anything, right? I guess. Okay. Someone talk to her. Hey, Chixie, sorry for getting in your face back there. I think it's really cool that you're standing up for what you believe in. I don't. Zephros? Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. But Chixie, this is really, really dangerous. The heiress might even show up at Jeeva Queen. Good. I, I hope she does. She's the one who these songs are for. I don't think you know. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I've taken precautions? I've gotten friends. I've got backup. I'm ready for this. I'm doing it. 
I'm gonna talk. Okay. Oh, there's no like really fast forward speed. Okay. Alright. Marvis, you got me with the hookup? Please. Hi again. You sure you're not a fan, Joe? <laughs> well, I might be. But n no, the reason I came back is, well, you wouldn't happen to um have an extra ticket on you, would you? That you might be willing to just give to us? For, um, nothing? Lol. Okay, I know we just met and all, but it'd mean a lot to me if you could help us. Us, you keep saying. But from all the words getting said, it seems like there'd be only one of you. What's the matter with your mate spirit? You can't talk? Oh, um, I guess you haven't been introduced to my friend, Zephros. Zephros, you're being rude. He also just implied mate spirit. <laughs> Joey isn't my mate spirit. What? He ain't, huh? Thought you guys was close with how huddled up behind you like that. What's a mate spirit? It's, um, like... One of our quadrants. You're what? I'm not Joey's mate spirit. I'm not anybody's mate spirit. Oh, is that like a boyfriend? Because no, Zephros isn't my boyfriend. We're just friends. I see, I see. He's just, um, kinda shy, sorry. We don't mean to be disrespectful. It's alright. Anyway, really wish I could help you, Joe. And if I didn't have a gig lined up, I might just pass my ticket right over. But unfortunately, I really gotta be at this party, bud. Sigh, it's alright. Do you know any other way we might be able to get one? Well, maybe I can't give you my ticket, but there might be some way, some other way I can help. If you get any other leads, hit me up and I'll see what I can do. You'd be surprised how far a little Jesta Juice can go. Well, I have no idea what that means, but thank you. If I find something, I'll let you know. Cool. Hey, why don't you add me on Chitta? That way, if you think of something, I can, or if I think of anything, I can let you know. Okay, sure. Sweet. Alright, catch you later. Okay, talk again. I got fans all over the place. Alright. Working. Oh, thank you, a James Styles, for the follow. Okay. Um, well, we talked to everybody. I'm not seeing. Hmm. Let's see. Um. I want to go, maybe we can talk back to Elward or something. I'm going to make the deal. Okay. Backstory. Okay. 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 I know, I just asked, but are you sure you have absolutely no idea where I might be able to get a ticket for the train? Well, if the ticket machine is broken, I suppose you'd have to get it from a troll, then. Is there any chance you might give us yours? Excuse me? Give you mine? If there's anything, anything at all that might convince you to give up your ticket, well... Well, actually... Do you think, if you were to go over and ask, that Marvis might give you an autograph from me? Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. I can ask anyway. Wow. Thank you so much. Here, get him to sign this album, alright? Okay, sure. Marvis, my guy. I hope this doesn't, um, uh, I hope this doesn't, like, throw him off. Hi, Marvis. What's up, Joe? I think I found a way to get a ticket, but I'll need your help. At your service. That guy over there, Zebra? said he might give us his if he got an autograph from you. Would you sign this album for him? Oh sure, that's easy. Hehe, <laughs> I always carry a marker just in case this happens. Cool, thanks, here you go. Ah, uh, no problem. 
Here you go. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, we fucking got this on lock. Alright, here you go. One album signed by Marvis Zolato. Oh, oh wow. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever held in my own two hands. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I might cry. Hey, please don't. So, do you think we could get your ticket? Huh? My ticket? Whatever you mean. Um, you sort of implied that you'd give it to us if I got you this autograph. Hmm, I distinctly never recall saying that. You lied to us? Lied? You were simply mistaken. But, hmm, I might consider if you were to do one more thing for me. What? As if we trust you now. Do you want that ticket or not, sweet peas? Oh, I hate this guy so fucking much. I'm starting to think this guy is very nice. What, me? Don't be ridiculous. I love little bloods like you. They're all so feisty. Anyway, if you were to go over there and show Marvis my mixtape, I might think about giving you my ticket. Oh, maybe. Your mixtape? Yeah, I've recently been getting into production side myself. But it's hard putting yourself out there as a critic, you know? Not everyone is happy to see you say critical things about their favorite artists, and there's a bit of presumption, or presumption of skill in their understanding when you take the position of a critic. If people were to think my work weren't up to snuff, well, it could be a real travail, uh, travail for someone in my position. Oh, Karina, thank you for the raid of food. I need a real honest and talented eye on my work before I forge out into the great unknown of music stardom. Who better to give me guidance than the very grand master slams himself, Marvis Soloto. Ugh, fine, give me your stupid mixtape and I'll see what he thinks. Thanks, dear. Here, add me on Cheddar and I'll send it over. Fine. Can I talk to literally anybody else about it? Oh, I forgot. This is not one. Ugh. Marvis, I feel so bad for having to fucking do this. Ugh. Yo, what's wrong, yo? You know that autograph I got for that guy over there? Well, he said he'd give me his ticket for it, but he lied. Now he wants me to show you his stupid mixtape. I bet it's not even good. Lol. Well, if it'll help you get a ticket, I'll give it a listen. Ugh, I'll send it to you over Chitter. Uh, Gravy, let's take a little Lipsies. I like Marvis. Damn, he is not impressed. So, uh, what'd you think? <laughs> Speaks for herself, don't you think? <laughs> you could say that. Hey, why don't you tell him to come over here and we can have a little jam about his flow. What? You really want to talk to this guy? He's obviously just brown-nosing theme chaser. Maybe it's not too late to set him on the right track, you feel me? Damn, yeah, Marvis is so much nicer than I'd be. Well, if you think so. I love Mar- I love this guy. What the hell? I love Marvis. Hey, Zebra. I showed you- I showed Marvis' mixtape. Or your mixtape. What'd he say? He said he wants to talk to you about it, believe it or not, so come on over. Well then, let's not keep him waiting. The fucking- <laughs> Damn, his lock sucks ass. Fuck you. Well, it, well, it was finally animated, but god, what a fucking prick. Ah, uh, Grandmaster Zoloto, it's such an honor to finally meet you in person. Hey, yo, what was it? Zebranodic? Yes, if it pleases you, sir. Whatever name you wish to call me, so shall my name be, oh mercifully mirthful one. Even I think this is a bit much. Sir. Well, anyway, I gave your mixtape a little listen, buddy. And? Yo, buddy, I think you guys have a ton of potential. What? You really think so? Yeah, I think if you was real serious, you'd get big. Big as me. Maybe even bigger. I... Why? I don't know what to say. No. Uh, you know I've read a bit, lo a bit of your blog. Oh. Well, let me just assure you that none of the criticisms written thereupon is intended to be taken in any way personal. It's odd, but I'm a professional. I know how it is. But you really think that's all you want to be? Just a critic? Well, it was a path recommended to me when I underwent my rights of maturation, but I guess it is an often uh, hemonormative assignment. Who among us at Seven Sweeps truly knows what they want to be, or what or what, what they're meant to be? This is probably what keeps the oppressive stri uh, uh, strictures 
strictures of the human spectrum system so inescapably woven into every facet of our lives. No young troll is ever given a chance to truly explore the full breadth of their potential. We simply take the roles forced upon us and assume there is no way to escape our destinies as defined by cold and blood pressureless computing algorithms. Dang, bud, you spin fly over here. Sh shit. Hey, you ever thought about going on Slam or Get Cold? What? Slam or Get Cold? Uh, well, of course, every young troll has thought about it. But do you think I really stand a chance? Hell yeah, buddy. Even though every winner in the recorded history has been a purple bluff? There's time for everything, buddy. Wow, I had no idea I was that good. Hey, you gotta believe in yourself, you hear me? Wow, wow. I guess I'll think about it. Good. This has been a really good talk, thank you. Do you think it would be okay if you followed me back on Twitter so I could DM you sometime? Sorry, bud. Should have broke right now. Can't log in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Catch you later, buddy. Marvis, that was beautiful. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> Got him hooked just to re just go reel it in, Joe. Oh yeah, Marvis is a Marvis is a fucking homie. Fucking goddamn. Sigh, I feel like I'm in a dream. So you got your album signed, mixtape listened to. Do you really think you can give us your ticket now? What? Did you lie to us again? I distinctly remember that I said maybe I would give you a ticket. Not that I actually would. You've gotta be kidding me. Calm down, calm down, I just... I really am considering giving you my ticket, but I'm still not entirely sure. There are tryouts for slamming it cold not far from here, actually. If I skate on g Week, I can probably make them. But, goodness, even after hearing the Grandmaster himself tell me I'm as good as he is, it's still hard to believe it, you know? No, it's totally impossible for me not to believe it. You're just so good, Zebra. You'd win for sure. I'm glad you think so, babe. But it's such a big risk. I just... Honestly, I just don't think I'm brave enough. I'm so sorry, Joey. I really appreciate all your kindness, but... It's just the safer plan to go to Jesus Week like I planned. It's unbelievable. Ugh. Marv is about to go fucking ugh, full rage. He lied to us again! He says he's too afraid to go. He thinks I'll lose. Dang, well, maybe you got something that could convince me the impossible to lose. Like what? I don't know, lol. Ugh, I guess I'll think about it. Do we have something? What's that thing? It's disgusting. Uh... I'm clicking on everything. Oh, uh, drugs? Oh wait, drugs is actually a fucking good idea. Oh no, there's no other dialogue there. You drink grub juice with no pulp? What are you, a wiggler? And what's this? You were saying that you weren't confident enough to go on slam or get cold. But maybe this will help. What is this, an auto-tune mic? Yep, it's really good actually. You can use it to do all sorts of things with your voice. And actually, it's pretty rare. My Moirel nicked it from a secret drone development facility, so it can do a lot of special things that a normal microphone can't. Wow, that's incredible. Is that true? I don't know. I'm sure if you have this, there'll be no doubt you'll win, Zebra. Well, I guess I'll try it out. Hmm. You know, it's so. But I'm really feeling it. What is it about this thing? I don't know if I could tell you how my voice is different, only that it definitely is. I feel confident. That's great to hear, Zebra. I bet you're so confident now that you could win Slam or get cold really easily. You know what? I think you might be right. Great! So happy for you. Could we get that ticket now? Uh, I suppose so. Here you go, darling. Great! Thanks! Never talking to you again, you fuck! How long are we streaming for? Probably, what, another 20 minutes? Maybe we'll, we'll just get on the train. Uh, cause it's almost two hours. Or, actually, yeah, more like ten minutes. Um, we'll probably just get on the train and then we'll end. One real ticket ready for inspection. Hell yeah, hand it over. Give ticket. I don't know if I want to do the deal yet. Uh, give ticket. Here you go. Cool, thanks, kid. 
So? So what? Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. I don't think so. I've been loose this before I left my hive. Turned off the nutrition, preparation, plateau. I think I'm good. You owe us two tickets. Two fake tickets for one real one, you said. Did I say that? Yes, yes you did! I think I remember saying that I could give you two fake tickets for a real ticket. Not that I would. Are you serious? As a blood pusher malfunction. Now that I'm thinking about it, two tickets for the press of one really isn't a good deal on my end. I think you might need to sweeten the pot a little. You... Hey, it's just business. Well, I don't know what you're expecting because all I have is a bunch of junk. Look. Hey, some of that stuff is mine. All we have is a bunch of junk. Wait, what about these? Are they some kind of alien money? No, they're just pogs. I don't know why I'm bothering to carry them around anymore. Seriously, I should just throw them away. Come on, you think I don't know valuable shit when I see it? Hand over those little circle girls and I'll give you the tickets. Alright, fine. Ugh, fine, you can have all of them. Just give us the tickets. Who's doing business with you? Finally, goddamn. Pog chance, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at all the trolls! Oh, I recognize this is, um... Oh, what's this one's name? Fuck! Oh, why can't I remember? Um, he's the one that dies in your original planet. <laughs> the Care, that's what it is! Yeah, 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 it's the Care, there we go. I recognize the Care. I don't know anything else. We need it. Uh, yeah, now we just have to wait. Oh, this kind of... <laughs> For some reason, I this is, I, I, I thought that this was like a mixture of like Jade and Rose with the glasses and the fan. It's kind of nothing in here. Oh, we gotta have to sleep. Oh my God, it's like a ghost. It's just a ghost with the cat and we're just sleeping. I've done that. I just got a message from Dan's tablet. Hi, Joey. It's great to finally talk to you. I kind of have some bad news. We only have 11 days. What? Zephros? What, what does this mean, Zephros? Oh, I don't know. Who sent this? Should I miss you some of that? Yeah, it's Fina. Who's that? Fina is one of the other Petrobarks. She's a sea dweller. Damn it, who's so? I've never spoken to her myself, though. Okay, I'm gonna ask her what she needs. What does that mean? It's complicated, but the TLDR is if you don't go back through the return hole in one day, both Earth and Alternate will be destroyed, so hurry up. What? Yeah, I'm really sorry I have to be AFP for a while. Feel free to leave me a comment or reply soon if you can. Remember, reviews are always appreciated if you need to be used through us marshmallows. Wait, wait, what, what, what do you mean the Earth will be destroyed? Return portal? What return portal? Oh my god, you're not gonna answer me. Oh my god, what does that mean, Zephros? I don't know. Is she serious? What do we do? Uh, I don't know. I don't mean to. Oh my god, I just got another message. Hey there. It's Perdia, so I'm just gonna get out of the way and say that I know everything, so you need hashtag introductions. The yeah, other message just messaged you right now. Yes, she did. Okay, I can't about it. What was she talking about? 11 days for return portal. What does she mean Earth's gonna be destroyed? Oh, don't worry about it. Smile. It's not true. Oh, it's completely hashtag true. It just won't happen unless we let it, which we won't. How do we not let it happen? Uh, it's just a cool hashtag text. Come up with me on my hashtag island and I'll tell you all about it. Hashtag GDP. On the train right now. How long is it going to take us to get there? Oh, that depends on what stop, hashtag stop you're coming from. Where'd you get on? Um, near a place called Alpha. Going by local route. About a week or so then. Hashtag such a pain. A week? Your friend just we have 11 days until our planets blow up. Haha, uh, yeah. This is a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem? <laughs> Hashtag relax, it's still reroute the train onto the express track. That should cut down the trip to a few hours, no big deal. Great, how are we supposed to reroute an entire train exactly? Well, the tr controls will be up in the engine room, at the front of the train. I suppose you'll have to get up there and, you know, control them. Great, thanks for the help. You're welcome. Alright, I've gotta go back to my hashtag party preparations. Big week coming up, hashtag G week. Hashtag two weeks. Bye! Ah, Zephros, what do we do? I guess we just have to do what she said. 
Strider glasses, bro. It's fucking Dave's troll sona. <laughs> Hanging out up there. Okay, I think that we will end here. And we will, uh, next time we play, we'll talk to a bunch of people. Until then, uh, I think I'm for the night. Oh. Hurrah. So thank you guys very much for watching. stream it has let's see how much how much data i've used over the course of this two hours on my fucking hotspot i have used five gigs of data <laughs> i am glad that i have a lot for my hotspot <laughs> wow all right um Okay, uh, thank you guys all for watching. Um, I'm not sure when we'll stream next because I don't schedule this. So if you um, want to know when we're streaming, uh, just keep an eye out on Twitter, keep an eye out on Tumblr. I think you can turn on notice or Twitch too. Um, and, uh, and yeah, next time we'll do stuff. Maybe next stream we'll do might be an art stream um, because I have art stuff to work on and I need to be fun to stream it. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys all for